Hi, it's Dan here from Thomas Rode Support. I'm just going to take you through the admin area um, when you've installed our Hyger theme for WordPress. Okay, so at this point we've got a fresh install, but we've installed all the demo data around sliders. Uh, if you want to catch up, then please see our previous videos uh, in this playlist. Um, basically, we're just going to have a quick glance through all the various options and whatnot that are added when the theme is activated. Um, so at the moment uh, the admin area looks very much like the standard WordPress admin area but you will notice there are a lot of extra options in there. Um, very first one uh, that's additional, um, we've got the uh, portfolio area and then all the various post types, uh, then things like the WooCommerce area for controlling settings and the uh, products, and then down here just extra options for the plugins which we've installed for the page builder and slider. Okay, so if we glance through each one, uh, we'll just go to posts and have a quick look at one as an example. Okay, so uh, mainly uh, for the most part, what you'll see here is identical if you're running pretty much any WordPress theme. Um, the difference being we've got all the format options here, which you may not be used to. So if you really want to highlight your different types of content, you can. Uh, select one which um, matches what you're posting. So obviously it was a nice short snappy quote. Yeah, you've got one there. Um, if it's an audio post, so on and so forth. We, we give you all the format options there so you can really make your blog shine. Uh, what's new, uh, if we head to the bottom of the page here, depending on the um, option you've got chose here, um, you'll see different options for the layout. So for instance, if you're uh, using the gallery format, you can add extra gallery images in here. Um, what that equates to, if we have a quick look at the front of the site. As you can see there, as this is a gallery type post, we've got a nice little slider here. And this extra block we've added down here is where you actually add those images. Um, and the actual, the actual uh, layout for the post here, um, you can choose obviously from the various options we've got available. Uh, if it's a video or uh, audio, you can pop in your embed link down there. And then right at the bottom here, we've got the override for the header. Uh, this is something you'll find on all the content areas. It just allows you to uh, override the setting you've got in the theme options and uh, choose something else. Uh, so for instance, it's just using the standard header we've got set in the theme options there. If we wanted to override that to say no header, Uh, not that I would suggest that's a good idea, but uh, there you go. You can see we can override that. So this one post in particular, because we've used that override, will not show the header, whereas all the other content areas on the site, let's actually choose a different one. There you go. All the other content areas on the site will uh, will use the header as set in the theme options. Okay, so moving on, we've got the portfolio section here. Uh, if we have a quick look at an example item. Uh, again, very, very similar to uh, a regular WordPress post. Um, you'll notice the gallery options are missing. Uh, they apply to the posts only. But what we have instead is a much more powerful set of options here uh, to control how and why, uh, sorry, how and where you want the orientation of the, um, the portfolio details. Uh, we have got a video that goes into this in a bit more detail, so I suggest to, uh, to check that out. Um, next step. We've got the team members. And again, very similar to a regular post, you've got the usual content area and somewhere where you can assign a featured Im image, etc. And then next up, we've got the job title area, which we've added as well as an area to add your various social icons for, for each member. And in clients, Very basic, uh, obviously we just want the logo there, which we've given you as the featured image and then a URL. So if you want that logo to link off to somewhere else, that's where you can set that up. Uh, testimonials, very, very similar to clients, it's quite basic, um, but you've got here the regular area where you actually put the testimonial blurb, uh, the title, which will act as the uh, testimonial person's name, uh, an image if you want uh, the head to appear next to the testimonial and obviously their job title if you want that to appear as well. It's all optional, so if you left that clear, it wouldn't appear on the front end. Uh, down here, we've got the WooCommerce area, um, obviously widely covered elsewhere, so we won't need to go much into that. Uh, here, we've got the Visual Composer settings. In theory, you wouldn't really need to visit that uh, very much. However, um, 
in its default state, the composer only adds itself to uh, put, uh, sorry pages. If you did want to start using the uh, Visual Composer through other areas of your website, you can activate it here just by clicking the various options and hitting save. Okay, well that's uh, generally the overview of uh, Higa for WordPress. I hope it's been useful, and if there are any other questions you've got, just come and see me over at support. I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.